Yes guys, in today's episode of the GBFC Chelsea pre-season tour, we head into San Francisco. Chill travel day, scattered in there with a bit of Chelsea news. Let's get into it. Well, it's the morning after the night before. Chelsea 2, Wrexham 2, welcome to the, what's this hotel called again? Uh, Larkspur. Yeah. Welcome back to another GBFC video. Yes guys, that was a backwards introduction, but I think today is the day where I'm starting to feel like we're on a journey. We're starting to feel like we're on an adventure because we're moving from place to place to place and today is flying day. In a moment, I'm getting in the car and putting my sun cream on again. We've got one more day in Cali. We're gonna go to San Francisco and we're gonna check the city out. Then we're gonna get to the airport and fly to Chicago because we're coming to the Notre Dame Stadium. <laughs> I was watching pronunciation videos because you guys were telling me, don't get it wrong, Benson. I didn't know this, all right? Now I'm educated. We're going to Notre Dame, bro. Notre We're Dame. heading there today. How are you feeling, G? I'm feeling good. I'm did you enjoy good. the game last night? I did. God, that view and the box. Thank you again to Levi's. That was incredible. We're going to talk a bit again today about what needs to improve in the build-up to Chelsea versus Celtic. But without any further ado, let's get ourselves back in the car for the last time. <sighs> One last day. Never felt I'd have a connection with a hire car before, but like, it's actually gonna be sad giving this back. What did we rent in Chicago? Is it any good? No, it's It's like only... a little crappy one, isn't it? Yeah, we've got it for like 24 hours. So I think to talk about last night's game a little bit more, I think there's two angles that we can approach it from right now. There's the negative angle, which is Enzo Maresca ball, or Maresca ball looks a little bit slow. We couldn't build properly. And then there's the other angle, which is, for me, the more realistic one which is that Chelsea had literally arrived in California two days ago. It's the first game. Wrexham are fitter than us right now. We're getting back into the swing of things. And there were genuine positives that we saw. I think Mark Yu looks like an absolute gem, having watched the highlights back again. And I'm excited to see where we go from here. Speaking of excitement, hello. hello. You might have just been catching me on the mic because I've been ordering whilst... Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Smoked salmon on sourdough. She's a good one, this yeah. one. Yeah, okay, cool. Yes, please. Come on. Oh my God, man, this looks amazing, bro. Look at this slab of salmon on here, dude. Mm. We are entering San Francisco from the north of San Francisco. I've driven across the Golden Gate Bridge once before, went from south to north. Georgie's never been there, so I'm taking her from the north to the south. All right, so, but, oh, look at him. Confident, isn't he? But it's still beautiful Californian sun. So we're about to go over the John T. Knox Freeway, which is a bridge. It's not quite the Golden Gate Bridge, but it's a bridge nonetheless. To take us to the north of San Francisco. Ships and like a dock down there too, which is pretty cool. So G, other than obviously Chelsea scoring two goals yesterday, what has been your favorite part of the California segment of our Chelsea preseason tour so far? I'm gonna say the sunshine, the in and out burger. Number one's gotta be this Ford Mustang. I was thinking about it, I'm like, is it necessary? Like, it's, it's more expensive than like a regular vehicle, but California, you've just gotta do it. It just makes everything more enjoyable. Especially since we've been sun deprived for our English summer, the last, what was it's it, a, month honestly, and a half. Honestly, it's a pure disgrace. We've got a big tunnel coming up now. Ooh. Woo! It literally looks like we're going through a sewage pipe. Yeah, it does. What have we got, G? Yeah, if you could guess the name of my favourite bridge, I'll give you a clue. It begins with the letter W. Bridge that begins with a W? I don't know any bridges that begin with a W. Waterloo Bridge, Washington. No, the first three letters of the bridge are W-A-Y. <laughs> tell me, please, tell me. I'm not going to tell you. What? I'm just going to Photoshop his head onto your face. And you can watch the vlog and you can find it out. Well, we're trying to take a little look at the Golden Gate Bridge from some very touristy viewpoints. The fog, actually, to be fair, it's been a hindrance to some of the views that we've been looking for. But I think it kind of makes it here. I think it makes it look cooler. It looks ominous. You've got the fog horns in the background that kind of just give it this eerie vibe, you know? We couldn't come all this way, Chelsea playing Santa Clara, and not at least come and see the bridge, but we're going to drive across it. Then we're going to go to the pier, Pier 39. Speaking of 39, Andre Santos played again for Chelsea yesterday. Didn't really see too much of him. I think we were quite disjointed in the second half. So in terms of like getting a grip of the game, nobody did that in the second half. I hope you guys can hear me. Look at this. 
It's unbelievable, Harry. Look at it. In San Francisco. Let's have it then. Wow. So this eagle is getting absolutely peppered by the fog. I feel like this is his workout, you know? Bloody hell. It's like Conor Gallagher. It's cool, isn't it? So cool. Where do we bring our lock? I actually have a lock in the car if you want to do it. No, we should have <laughs> left it on the car so no one steals our shit. True. There's so much fog. So much fog. And now you've got a fantastic time lapse of the car game. So as we're driving into San Francisco to get out again and do a little bit of touristy stuff, we may as well talk a little bit more about Chelsea yesterday. Perfect timing as we are now stuck at a red light. Hopefully you can't hear the excavator. The more I think about the game, I actually am quite excited about this whole inversion thing. And I think that it's good that Enzo Maresca yesterday experimented with it being Malo Gusto and Reese James because the left side he knows that Ben Chilwell's not going to be able to do that role. Renato Vega didn't come on yesterday, but I think he'll feature against Celtic. And he knows that Cucurella is going to be able to do that role really well. So I think, as much as I'm being tooted from behind here, I think it was the right game and the right time just to see positionally, in terms of the awareness of both Malagusto and Reese James, if it can work with the right side. That's what he did at Leicester. But I think we're going to start seeing it be the left again as soon as Cucurella is back. Because I think a lot of you guys have said this in the comments too. Gusto and James, their attacking potential is kind of wasted if they're just expected to be there as one of those two holding players. I want to see Gusto going forward and I want to see James going forward. Don't you, G? Yeah, 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 yeah. Georgie does as well, you see. She's totally learning. Agree. We're getting there. Yeah. San Francisco is beautiful, by the way. Now that we got over the bridge, the weather is really nice. The sun is back out again. 64 Fahrenheit. I actually can't remember what that is in Celsius, but it's like 20 degrees. It's really nice. And it smells like weed. Welcome to Pier 39, G. Thanks, another tourist spot. Yeah. Another tourist spot. You might as well do a mixture, you know? That's what being on pre-season tour is all about. If Chelsea are in Singapore, you go and want to see like the touristy things of Singapore. He's coming around the side. Da, da, da. Did you get it? <laughs> there you go, you've had a sea lion now too. I think I'm more otter than sea lion. There we go. You just broke your set up. He did it. Good job, blood. There's Alcatraz prison. Boy was a tennis player. This chowder is absolutely delicious. We've coated it in black pepper because I just love a little bit of black pepper on my food, but the flavors, the food in America just is good, isn't it? Uh, it's really good. All right, so another thing yesterday that I didn't talk about in the six things we learned video, because it wasn't really like a key talking point at all. Sanchez wasn't bad. Didn't concede a goal in the first half, so he keeps himself a clean sheet. Bergstrom comes on. Say less about that, we don't need to. But the Chelsea news that we've not really discussed here on GBFC, because we've obviously been focused on the travel side of the tour, there's been previews, there's been a match last night that we've been able to go to and watch and enjoy. We've not really spoken too much about the news, and the news is that Chelsea could well be very close now to signing Philip Jorgensen, the Danish goalkeeper from Villarreal. 20 million euros. There's a lot of people also saying that, is he really that much better than a Sanchez or a Petrovic? Yes, he's not bad with the ball at his feet, but I just have a feeling here that Chelsea are kind of missing the boat when it comes to understanding how important it can be to have a really top class goalkeeper as your keeper. After Petrovic did so well at the end of last season, Slanina still being at the club, but not being close enough to make it yet. You've got Sanchez, you've got Petrovic, you add Jorgensen into that, or Jorgensen if that's the correct pronunciation. We don't really have a standout goalie. Three keepers that we'd have ended up spending what an actual world-class goalkeeper would cost, and none of them are world-class or good enough. That's just my thoughts on it. Maybe he is good, maybe it's a gamble. We take too many gambles and we should just figure out that we need to actually make like a decent, proper goalkeeper sign-in, as opposed to always about to jaywalk here. Nearly, is it, uh, is he good enough? Or do we have to just wait and see again? Yes. What do you think, G? Should we sign Philip Jorgensen from Villarreal for 20 million euros? Philip Jorgensen. What do you reckon, sign him or not? <laughs> I don't know, G. All right, so we'll do a little beer review, shall we? Shout out to Dogs and a Dog Dad. This is the deviant standout. 
IPA. Tasty. It's a good beer, that. An 8 out of 10. She's getting her hoodie on for one last Californian beach walk. I feel I... like this is like the ending of chapter one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, sad times. It is. One of five. I actually kind of wish that Chelsea, no offense to any of the places we're going to go, it would be just so epic if we were playing at like the Portland Timbers Stadium or the Seattle Sounders Stadium. We could just keep driving up this coast. I want to take this car back to England with me, this exact <laughs> one. I yeah. wouldn't normally say a silver car, but it's just been fun. This California chapter of this Chelsea preseason tour on GBFC has actually been amazing. Yeah. We've come to the beach for one last little stroll before we go to the airport because this evening, We've got like a risky flight. And what I mean by a risky flight is it's through the night from midnight and we land in Chicago, which is about a two hour drive to where Chelsea are playing Celtic at the flipping neck, how do I say it? <laughs> Notre Dame. Notre Dame <laughs> Stadium, which is where the Flying Irish play. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be on a university campus. So we've got a two hour drive to there. So there's no doubt that we're gonna make the game but we may not sleep tonight, which means match preview day tomorrow is going to be interesting, potentially. I've already got like bags under my eyes. And you've got old Sonny Jim up there who's trying his hardest to make an appearance, but... Very mysterious. Look at that bad boy. Chelsea, Chelsea. That is a monster plane, I tell you. This car genuinely has been such a gem for this trip, but hang on a minute, we've got someone here. I'm gonna ask quickly what he thinks about something. <laughs> Hello. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Do you think Chelsea are gonna beat Celtic in Notre Dame this week? Supposedly. Yes. <laughs> if they play well, they don't go become selfies then. If they walk with the team, then they might be. I selfish. like this. He's spot on. Don't need to be selfish. It's all about the team at this point. This has been real. We're going to drop the car off now. It's not the end of the vlog, because I'm going to chat to you guys in the airport. <laughs> Goodbye. You've been great. Right then, you lot. I've had an absolute nuff of this, all right? I've been sat in this airport for hours and hours. Editing today's vlog. I'm still gutted that we got rid of the car, to be quite honest. I'm tempted to go out there again and just be like, screw this flight. It's a four hour flight. It would literally take four days straight of driving to get to Chicago, to get to the Notre Dame Stadium. But I'm tired. This has been a very good travel day. It's been a bit more of like a chilled, laid back kind of vlog. And I want this whole travel series to be about Chelsea, about previewing games, about reviewing games, about watching football. But at the same time, it's about the experience. I think I'm waking everybody up in the airport, but it's not that late. They shouldn't be in bed asleep yet because they're in an airport. But anyway, I'm going a bit delirious. I'm gonna try and sleep on this flight and we will see you in Chicago airport in the morning. Might even start the vlog on the bloody plane so that you guys don't miss a trick. I'm not taking you to the bathroom with me though. But anyway, thank you for watching this vlog. If you did enjoy it, smack a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and we're going to watch Chelsea play Celtic in two days time. Come on, you blues.